Hello everybody, hope you're having a good day today. Right now we'll be doing a tutorial on how to set up the seamless co-op mod made for Elden Ring. The mod was created by Luke Yui. Um, so we're going to hop to the website here, I'll have it down in the description for you. Um, some cool little th things about this mod, if you don't know what video you clicked on, essentially it gives you all the things you would want with the Dark Souls multiplayer. Um, so instead of beating a boss, teleporting out, having to figure out what boss you didn't kill so you could spawn your buddy in a field that's limited, can't use torrent, the horse, to run around. This fixes all of that. It gives you, gives you all the quality of life things you would want with the uh, Dark Souls multiplayer. So to get into it, we'll start at the Nexus Mods website. I'll have the link in the description below. So you'll come to nexusmods.com. Um, you can, if you don't want to take the link for whatever reason, just search Elden Ring. It's one of the top ones, highly recommended. Um, it is in beta right now, early beta. This just came out not too long, originally uploaded 27th of May to 29th of May today. So when you're watching this, you know, maybe different by then. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to come to the download button. It's right along the thumbnail at the top. You're going to click manual. So this website does have a freemium and a pre. I said freemium and a pre, Jesus. Uh, has a free and a premium so you do have to make an account to download this um, it'll be real sketch it'll make it seem like you have to get premium uh, but once you make your account and it has the subscription stuff credit card you just go to the top right and click close so you can come back to the screen um, you just do slow download and you'll get the file after that you will be pulling up your downloads or wherever it's saved to so when you download it you'll get your zipped file it'll show up as seamless co-op beta whatever version it is by the time you're watching this video just take your 7-zip your winrar and do extract here extract files and then you can choose where you want to put it wherever you want and then you'll get these two folders and exe so after this you're going to bring up your steam you're going to go to your elden ring right click manage browse local files I'm going to drag Steam out of the way for y'all and pull up Elden Ring for you. Oop. Messed all that up. So, once you have your Steam file, mine's on the right over here, my download's on the left, you're going to go to your Steam folder, open up the game, and you're going to simply click and drag Seamless Co-op over into your Steam file. Now, make sure, the important step, make sure you click the seamless co-op in your Elden Ring file. And you will go to cooppassword.any. Just double click, it's just a text file. This will have you set your password, can't be blank. Make sure it's secure and unique and share it with people you'd like to play with. They recommend it for it to be secure as you are not on official Elden Ring servers. And, you know, any random person could put in your password if you just do like one, two, three, or potato or something simple and join your game and potentially corrupt your files and stuff. It's just how people are. So make sure you get it nice and random. Literally just probably throw your hand at the keyboard and copy paste it, give it to your buds and they put it in this exact same file. So once that's done, um, now you need to put the seamless co-op exe into your Elden Ring folder or you can make a shortcut for it. So once it's in there, uh, create shortcut off of it. Now you have a shortcut that you can just click and drag to your desktop so you can start it from your desktop. Um, say you try and leave that exe in your downloads folder, you're going to get this error. It's going to have your command prop and said, fail to find Elden Ring.exe. Well, true, it's just looking in the, these files that doesn't have Elden Ring.exe. So, once you're in here, you'll double click your shortcut or the file inside of the game file. So wait for it to load. I had to re-record this because when I recorded it at first, my mic was all staticky. So I'm recording from my laptop now. Hopefully I do not have to do it again. Josh, do you want to hop on real quick so I can show this? See, he didn't make a shortcut. So this says, you welcome to see this co-op mod for Elden Ring. This is an early beta version of the mod. Depending on when you're watching this video, install and everything could be different. This mod uses a separate save and does not connect to matchmaking servers. And it also does not contain an anti-cheat. Some basic warnings. 
So when you get in, this new game, don't worry about logging in. There's nothing to log into. So you'll make your character however you want to make it. My friends and I, we plan on doing a kind of role play. So we'll have like a melee, healer, mage, etc. So when you first load in, um, you need to come here first. You need to open this door, do your little deadlift, and that is when you can start multiplayer. We tried it at every stage prior. Couldn't summon it for that first tutorial boss. Tutorial boss, right? And we could not do it before this door down by the imp statue dungeon. So you gotta come up here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna open this up. You're gonna hit your tiny great pot. Um, you can also get to it through your equipment and make a hotkey for it or just your inventory. So you use your tiny great pot, it'll ask you to open your world of wanderers, you'll say yes. Get a nice little animation here. And now you're open for co-op, as long as you and your friends have the same password in that file, that is very important. And so, my buddy Josh here, he's going to load into his game and come over here and use the effigy in Melania. And since we both have the same password, he will join my session. Um, in the meantime, Judicator's rulebook, as you can see, is also showing Josh has joined. It's pretty instant. Like, that text just popped up in his ear. So, Judicator's rulebook, as you can see, I'm pressing camera to lock onto him. It's not working. No damage. I come over here and use the rulebook. It'll turn PvP on. So if you want a bit more of a realistic co-op experience, you throw that on, and now you can hit each other. Very seamless. And you get some cool music to go with it. So now that we're here, um, if you say you want to end a lobby, you'll just use Separation Mist. I'm going to click Withdraw from this world. And Josh will disappear. And so yeah, it's a pretty simple setup. Um, we did try picking up the golden effigy here that comes with the base game. Uh, when Josh picked it up, I did not receive it. I did have to pick it up myself. Not sure if that works for all pickupable items. We haven't really played past this point. And then Tree Sentinel, haven't killed him yet, so we don't know if we share boss loot. It is intended that we do, but again, it's early beta. Depends on the time you're watching this video, how far it's progressed. Um, so cool. That's it. Um, those are some of the problems I had. Um, just make sure, for one, you have the same password in your file. For two, make sure your shortcut actually links to the Elden Ring folder in your Steam folder, or rather you just drag the EXE over and click it. And that should cover you for most of it. Thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.